listen, if you people want your own little community, don't be feeding off the same energy of the town you ran from. Go somewhere new. Fuck you. Let's return to room, man. Just like a page back. Also, I'd like to buy a Tabas. Topson. You can give me a much bigger reward. I mean, did, was that the bad thing to do? I don't think it was. Oh, wait, no, it's another room. Spacious choices are now agreeable. Oh, they're playing that game. Another computer. More lore, lore, more lore, more, 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 more lore. Another necklace I can't wear, of course. Okay, let's leave. More lore. Wait, it's not the exit. Where am I? I know there's like good and bad choices, but what was a good choice there? To have people be free? Or their own community? Alright, fast travel. I don't feel like walking. Hopefully they don't open fire on me. It's time for you all to leave. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Why is there a gun on my at the bottom of my screen? Sprat fell into a transformer again? Which one was Thomas? Hey. One of us wanna go see what happened. Leave her alone. Haha. Uh That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this. Not my problem. Away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? Um... Uh. Yeah, he kind of needs them back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Okay. Uh, maybe I can convince her to come back. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. What was he right? So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Okay. Just come back. As long as Reed is still in Edgewater, I will not return. Those are my terms. Wait, maybe I can get something where everyone wants. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Eh, probably the latter. If you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. I'd rather Tell just kill. Made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. 
The human body is rich with nutrients. That's a little weird. Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Yeah, you gotta use your sons. Okay, I'm leaving. Not fair enough. If I can make everybody winter. If I kill Reed. She could be the new leader of a big town. A town that will look up more to her than Reed. Right? Is that how that works? I don't know. Where's that power thing? Can I take it? Sweet. I could just leave right now. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I will finish what I started. Hey, time to leave. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa. Miss Parvati, <laughs> you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you, hi, 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 uh, hello. Freak. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Wait, do you like him too? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I, I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Uh, yeah. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? No, I mean literal. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Are you saying this in front of everybody? Um. They're not idiots. They're just trusting. I mean. I got away with replacing the odd water filter or battery, but I can't keep this charade up. Time's come for me to learn my craft. Or you could just you not. Heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Oh, God, engineering? another quest? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old I just came here to tell all these people copy. to leave. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Uh Yeah, I'll let you know. Do I have one of them on me? I'll give them to him later. Would you? I'd be grateful. Time to go back. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Uh, fine, here's one. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? I don't know. The geothermal plant? Now that is just No, incredible. I lost it. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Yeah, they're gone. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. Their reputation Fact, increased. I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody'd search out those Ooh. data pads for me. Thank you. Okay. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Can What's I can, on your mind? can you go back now? Hang on. Any luck finding one of those manuals? No, I've been gone for two seconds. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Uh. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater and... I'm as good as dead to her. Do people realize there's no power here? Uh, yeah. You know where to find me. Okay. I have to talk to someone else. Who? 
What have to, I have to talk to her again about you? Or hang on, you. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Uh, time to go back. The matter's been weighing on me. Fact is, I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. <sighs> Disappeared without a trace. Marauders took her, I suspect. I go looking for Zoe, I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around a gun. Hence my dilemma. Then just hand it to somebody else. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Oh, another Hell's quest. A wide place. She could be anywhere. Hmm. Appreciate it. Oh, a bit too harsh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go talk to you again to see what you need. Then I'm gonna go kill Reed. Look at that. The snakes come back. Okay, apparently I can't. Let's go kill Reed. Alright, back to Edgewater. Kill Reed, get those people back. I highly doubt I'll be able to convince him to just walk away. You're fast. Okay. Hi, Reed. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their post? Um. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. Yeah, it sounds a mess. I have been holding this town together with both hands. You can't just expect me to leave. No, I don't expect you to at all. Spacer's choice, man. My father was a Spacer's choice, man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. Well, I tried. Okay, okay. Ah. My hands weren't ready. I know I'm killing him. I have no choice. I'm very surprised Parvati attacked with me. It's time for the shotgun out. That's my melee. That's with the shotgun. And also, quick save. Alright, try this again. Good job. Are you out of your mind? You just... You just killed him. Yeah. Killed him. <laughs> a favor? You just made me an accomplice to murdering my boss. I can't... I need to leave. What? I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. No, Barbati. Get lost. No, I'm gonna try and keep her near me. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? You got a real twisted sense of chivalry, you know that? Let's just... Let's just move on. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the veil unsupervised. So what, you're gonna take care of me now? Hey, I talk to you about what I just happened? you did the rightest thing you could send the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they ain't care much for me. Uh, That's on account of how I never met her. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. 
She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Okay. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. All right. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kind of. <laughs> Thomas always listened to me. Never said I was odd. Never tried to... I just want to think of him like that. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Okay. Well, nice to see you're still with me. He had it coming. All right. Ooh. Thank you, Reed. Let's see what he's got in here. Uh, lore. Lore. It's probably something very valuable in here. Wait, who sent this? What? To Thompson from Thompson? Oh, this is in case of his death. I want to read this. Okay. You know, another message? From. Ooh, space is choice. Okay. Uh, you have anything to say about him? Where are we headed? No, you seem to be fine about it. Alright. Very quickly, let's go back to Adel Adel Adeline. Tell her. It's all hers. Oh wait, do I have more people attacking me here? Oh shit. Am I considered her bad now? Sorry, like, would these guys attack me? What was that? Oh. Oh. Come here. Oh, shit. Okay, so everyone's on me. Try to convince it just to leave. Yeah, even like these, even the residents are killing me. Why? I don't get. It. Let's see if I can resolve this in peace. It's not helping that. Oh. No, it wasn't right before. It's not helping that I'm killing the town when they need workers. <laughs> this is See if I can day. convince and believe. A change of leadership might be needed. I am a spacer's choice, man. My father was a spacer. You already said this. Unless you can demonstrate to me that we are helpless without him. I see no reason why I should stand down. Uh, could attack him again. I could persuade him though. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? I don't know. Ask her. Yeah, corpses. Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer. That's, come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. 
I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. Uh. Yeah, I really don't want to argue. Just leave. You're right. I am being obstinate. If the best thing I can do for this town is to stand down, then stand down I shall. I'm surprised he. If Adelaide's well. found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. So what are your plans now? Just curious. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. You look like you're 40. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. All right, I don't really care about these. Bye. It's saving right now. I just want to do something real quick. Quick save. There we go. I want to kill him anyway again. Ah. I don't know why, it just seems like a real dick to me. Okay, I've convinced you to leave. You aren't mad at me. Let's go tell Den- I still can't pronounce her name. Adelaide? McDivitt. I'm gonna call her McDivitt. Go tell her, uh, this place is hers. And no one's shooting me. Ain't that right, fellas? Hey, you hear about Wilson? What happened to Wilson? Oh Just no. Between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. <gasps> You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Oh no. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the soul to it. You moron. Okay. I'm gonna teleport right in front of you. Okay, everything's good. It's all good. You can go. Look at that. The snakes come back. You make me want to shoot you now. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. What? Eh, uh, I don't really care, I made a mess, I'm just... Ooh, thanks for the watch. I just really want this to be over. <laughs> you telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. Yeah. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Sorry about ten pounds? Okay, bye. Companion perks. Your companions leveled up and can be granted new perks. Go to the companion page in the ledger and select perks. Ooh. You hear that? P Parvati, you got to level up. Companion ledger. This companion ledger shows you everything you need about your companions. You can see their skills, stats, status, effect, and gear. Okay, this is that. Give them new weapons and stuff. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with the engineer. So she was set to this. She was set to aggressive. So she would attack anyone. Oh, you got seven armor? Hell, I should take that off. Alright, you got a pistol. Oh, we got the impact hammer on? Okay. That was better, but that's a shock. Put that one on. Oh, I got my own skills. Okay. 
melee power attacks. Holding the attack button, you sure I should have no overhead power attack. Okay. Yep. Okay, everyone. Time to go back. Have fun. Food's bound to spoil at this rate. Well, then go back to Edgewater. So, am I still on the main quest? No, it's all done. I just want to see if I can see Big Divot running this place. Right, get lost. I already told you I'm leaving. All right. Well, you you guys will figure it out. I was gonna say my ship is really close. But I think that's just to the door to lead to outside. Damn it, Kansas stealing. This town should be grateful to me. Okay. We finally made it back to the old unreliable. Is this your ship? Oh my star. I forgot you were with me. So handsome. Are you coming with me? Have a name yet? What's your drive model? Uh <laughs> Listen to me badly. Any questions? When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Well, now Thomas is the new engineer, right? They need you. You've never been on a ship before. I've worked on the occasional supply coach in need of repairs. Once I built a little model craft out of spare parts, but Mr. Thompson found out and I had to take it apart. I want to ask you something, and you can say no, but can I come with you? I could tend to your engine, I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. I don't know where a G-valve is. Eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Get lost. <laughs> uh... Why would you want to go with me? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Edgewater was on the verge of collapse before you showed up. You sent them power and now the town might see another season. And you talked Miss McDevitt into coming back to town. Maybe one day, Edgewater will have a garden where that cannery once stood. You ain't exactly a stranger anymore. You done some kindness hereabouts. I wouldn't mind following somebody like that. I get behind that. Yeah, I really do. My whole life's been small. I realized that when you walked into town. I've been seeing the same faces every day, the same sky, the same stars. Then I saw this ship. This gorgeous stately you saw this with her eyes turned 20 seconds skyward. ago. I made up my mind to come along with you. So you made it up just now. <sighs> Alright, pick a cabin. Yes! I mean... Thanks. I wonder, can you build a crew of companions, or can you only have one at a time? I can call you captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Yes, you do. Alright, hopefully you know how to install this thing, because I got no idea even what it is. Oh yeah, Parati, me, Ada, Ada, Parati. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power... What can I do for you, Captain? Uh, I have the thing. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Of course. Apparently I do. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our Thank God I got Pravati here. located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Okay. Thank you. Pravati, uh, can you go plug this in? <laughs> oh, yes. The engine power. Okay, plug it in. Simple as that. Ooh. Good. Thought I was gonna hurt myself. Okay, Ada, we're good to go. What the fuck? Something watching me, or is that just like a reflection? I can't tell. What can I do for you, Captain? I have installed it. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. All right, let's get out of here. 
Oh, come on, baby. You could take off. Does this thing have paddles? Alright. The unreliable takes flight. Oh. oh yeah, let's talk, talk to him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. Now, what are you talking I'm about, relieved, Captain? By the way, I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. I'm supposed to be melting? What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. Um. Yeah, wait. What's a nav key? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Okay. Uh. I could just leave, right? But. I mean, I kind of owe it to this guy to help out. Alright, I'll have a war with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. So like a Shroud of Invisibility? What is it? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. You're going to get rid of my baby face? First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. So does it change me or does it put out holograms? Okay, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. The entire team. Ada looked like, oh, just shut up already. Okay. Wait. Oh, there and up there. I just want to go see the shaft real quick. I really have to end this, though. Projects a disguise on your end and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas. Provide, provide you have the correct ID cartilage for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel, and otherwise result in being attacked on site. Got it. God damn it. Is uh, Parvati here somewhere? Sam. I'll talk to you later. It's like a work area. Let's explore the ship a little bit. My camo sensors are picking up a rich array of hydrocarbons. Okay, don't know what that means. 
We really have a single bathroom on this ship? Do you know how many solos there are? Or cabins? Oh, there you are. Okay. Ow. Uh, this has gone on way too long. I've worked for like an hour and a half. This is definitely going to be broken up into two parts, so... The second part... will probably cut off weird. I'll probably like a text thing saying like, Eh, recorded way too long, I have to cut this up. And right now, I'll give you the usual send-off, so thank you all for watching. Be sure to ever down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next part. Goodbye.